Hello the World Stacker 777 and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to open up PSD files without actually having Adobe Photoshop. So I'll be showing you guys two different ways to do this. One of them will be converting the PSD file to a JPEG and the other is actually opening it up. Both these methods are free and uh, with, no, with no further ado let's get started. So the first one is a, is a online website no downloading at all all you gotta do is hit shoot go to the link below and go to choose file choose the PSD file as you got click the upload button it will upload the PSD file and then give you some options so you can resize it if you like it um, I said it's going best right now and then JPEG's good and then click convert then you click download and there we go. We do have now our PSD file. So the PSD file was something was pretty simple. All it was um, is this right here, actually. But the nice thing about this is it actually includes all the layers. So there's a bunch of empty pictures. That is because I had a bunch of hidden la layers there. But it includes all the layers. And for those of you who do not know what Photoshop is and the whole layers thing, layers are just pictures on top of uh, pictures. So kind of like layers of paper. So those are great because in Photoshop you can layer some on top of other ones to make cool pictures. And by doing this with website, it actually will give you inch each individual layer. Now because this Adobe Photoshop file I'm showing you guys is a very simple one, it's just for my thumbnails on YouTube, and most of the layers are actually hidden all the time, it's pretty simple. But when you get to more complex pictures, this can be very useful. The second um, way of doing this is using a program called GIMP. GIMP is a free um, picture editing program. Um, it's a little more complicated for people who just use paint, but if you learn to use it, it actually is pretty useful. Now GIMP is free, like I said earlier, and it also allows you to open up PSD files. So I will, I'm a, I will start to download for you. I'll have both these links below, by the way, and I'll show you guys what GIMP can open and I'll show you guys how you can edit with GIMP. Once it's done just start open the setup file. Now me personally I do have Photoshop so I'm not um, you know super GIMP user and I'm more familiar with Photoshop to be honest and even with Photoshop I'm not, I'm not amazing at Photoshop I, you know I know the basics and I can do some somewhat good stuff but I'm not like you know a professional editor with it. So I will show you guys a bit basics of this program that is I know and um, yeah. But once it's done though you can simply um, just open it up. The first time it opens up will probably take a bit longer than normal. I'm um, just have to load all your fonts, load everything that it has to load. Um, it does, usually does not have to do this a second time though. You open on different monitors, so I'm just going to drag everything over. So GIMP opens in a couple different little windows. So the main one here that I have right now is the uh, main window where the picture is shown. These ones are just the tools, and these are the layers over here. So you can go to File Open and find your um, your PSD file. So here we go, we have my PSD file. And the nice thing about GIMP is if you actually want to edit the PSD file, you can. So you can see all the layers are available in the corner here, just as it if I was on um, Photoshop. So it's pretty cool. I'll show you guys a bit of GIMP now. Um, over here we have some different tools. This is like the moving tool, so you can move the layers around. So if you grab this one, you can take the, this layer and throw it around. Now what a layer is, a layer is a separate picture. So this is a layer. If I take this layer, which is uh, this picture right here, and drag it like below the other ones, what happens is it will actually be behind them because it's at the bottom. We have things like the paint tool and the, and the erasing tool and the text tool, the scale tool, which increases the size of a picture, or you can do a certain size. And obviously the bigger you go, the not as well it looks because of the pixels are expanded and it looks blurry. 
but um, besides that though it's pretty simple colors here you can use things like um, you know, effects so you can go to like levels and you can play with the adjustment levels and this is just going to change you know different things like I said before though I'm more used to Photoshop um, just like Photoshop though it does have filters so you have like the blur so you can go to the Gaussian blur and you can like you know choose the method and then you can choose how much it blurs the OK button and there you go I just blur the crap out of it um, besides that though you have like enhanced artistic different stuff so I'm not going to show you guys like a whole GIMP review here but the point of this video was showing you guys how to open up PSD files so we have GIMP here we can actually edit the PSD files and then we have the other website there which converts it to a JPEG picture with different layers so GIMP though it's a great replacement for Photoshop if you don't want to have to pay for it um, or can't get it cracked or anything like that because um, you, know, you can edit PSD files on it and usually if you're using GIMP you're not doing like super high end stuff but it's pretty good for layers and you can do some good editing with it obviously if you want to do advanced high end editing then Photoshop is the better solution for that though anyways guys that's about for this video though again this is opening PSD files without actually having Adobe Photoshop hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did leave a like if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them below as well this is the Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.